friends, um, welcome back. Apologies that I haven't uploaded for the past few weeks. I've been on a very deep dive into my inner world and dealing with some of my personal shadow and yeah, trying to trying to navigate my ego because it's been pretty strong. It, my ego has been wanting to keep me in 2019. It has been craving, it has been craving to go back to who I was then. And the reason why it's done this, the reason why my ego is doing this is because it doesn't know the person on the other side. It doesn't know the person who I am transforming into right now. It, it's the only point of reference that it has is to, to my past and to who, who I was prior to the experiences that we've all been through the past two years. And you know, some of my own personal experiences. And when I was going through this deep dive, I want to share this visual with you because it might help. It might help you. Um, but all I could see, and and this is what I could see in the collective as well. I could just see a, a river rapid, and I could see on one side of the river was me in 2019. In the middle of the river rapids was me right now, and then on the other side was my future self, and my future self, you know, my true sovereign self, the the esoteric self, if you like, you know, the the, the truth of, of our being and who we are is on the other side going, hello, hello, come swim this side. And then my ego, you know, the the and, and some of the lower aspects of me going, no, we, we need to stay in 2019 because it, it's comfortable there. It's comfortable, everything was, everything felt safe there. But there is no safety right now. There is no safety whatsoever. I've realized this after sitting with this for three weeks, there is no safety to be found anywhere. There is no safety other than in the divine and acting on what the divine is guiding you to do. And it's interesting because I had, the, I had probably the worst year of my life last year. Um, it, was, it was really bad. And then this year has been, this year has been a lot better and I've, I've manifested like such an amazing partner. Like he really is wonderful. And when you're doing shadow work, <laughs> when you're doing shadow work, is, you know, you can do it individually, that's perfectly fine. But when you're doing it in the container of a relationship, it kind of takes on a, it takes on a new form and another level because you're relating to another, which is reflecting back aspects of you or things that you might need to do. So recently he's been reflecting back saying, you know, who are you, who are you? Like, like, where are you right now? And I've been like, you know, my, my, my uh, ego's been battling this and been like, you know who I am, you know who I am. You've watched my videos, you, you, you've you read my website, you know who I am, you've you've listened to me talk and you know exactly who I am and what I stand for. But what he, what he was trying to point out is, is I'm that person on the, the other, the true sovereign self is on the other side of the river and I'm too afraid to go there right now. I'm too afraid to go there right now. And it is a threshold that we've got to cross and it's a threshold we've got to cross collectively as well. We are not an island. No man or woman is an island. We are doing this as a collective effort together. And yeah, some of the things that have been helping me just kind of, I'm gonna actually use something that he said to me. He said, you need to you need to sort the psychic sort storm out in your head because for anybody that's pretty open or, or has seen abilities or can kind of tap into things, right now is so difficult it is so difficult because the timelines are moving so fast like everything's moving so fast and and the way that i feel like our bodies are almost on this kind of readjustment because the the, the old ways the 2019 ways you know you you could you could sit and you could you could probably project yourself and comfortably know what trajectory you were on for the next six to 12 months and what trajectory the, the collective was on for the ne next six to 12 months. And then this, this time of air, like everything's just fast and I don't think our bodies and minds, certainly people that are open and I work with, work with people that are really open. And I was working with, with a lady yesterday and she was, she was talking about not being able to feel God and all that came to me was the, the, you know, the poem, the footprints pro poem where it says, you know, there's only one footprints in, in the sand and that's when God's carrying you. And I know it has some religious connotations and I know some people have some problems with religious stuff, but I think it is a beautiful metaphor for this time because you, you can be questioning like, where is the divine? Where where are you? 
where is like some divine assistance? When is this gonna come to some kind of steadiness or some kind of end? And then it's like, well, we're fighting nature here. We're, and we're all in a war as well. Like whatever, whatever, whatever side of the fence we're on right now, we're, we're in a war, you know, some are fighting for freedom, others are fighting for their health but underneath that that health is their freedom just masked by by the health um and then you know we're, we're all thinking why why are we having to you know subject ourselves to medical tyranny why are we why are we having to give up our bodies to 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 continue with our jobs you know i've got clients that have lost their jobs because they won't take the vaccination and it's just such a such a scary time and i you know i keep trying to say to them you know put your faith in the divine put your faith in the divine because the divine the divine if you act from 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 the place of your soul and 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 use your ego as almost like characters in your story so they're not that your ego's not directing the story as my ego has been directing my personal story my personal myth the last the last three weeks and I, you know, I realized this and I was like, shit, I've got archetypes and I've got parts that are driving my reality here and they shouldn't be. What needs to be driving your reality is your, is your essence. You know, that's on my website, it says integrating humanness with essence. It means that you, you use your humanness, you use your human elements to navigate through this world, to be like Neo, you know, dodging the bullets. You can use your archetypal parts to do that. But sometimes what happens, especially when we're in these times of chaos, is that we kind of get sideswept and, and, and we allow those, those, um, those other aspects to blend with us and, and to take control. And, and they need to not be in a director's role. They need to be, they need to be the actors in your, in your story, in your myth. And when we're creating a myth as well, something else I've had to ponder on after my partner echoing the question which the divine has been echoing to me which is who who are you what are you here to do um when i sat with that well, you know at first my ego didn't sit with it very nicely as i just mentioned before but when i sat with it you know after a night's sleep and and with some meditation I actually realized I, I know who my future self can be and I have a choice to, to, to step into that. But the difficulties are the roadblocks that are on the way. I did a meditation on this um, some time back and, I, and if, there's a, if there's a call, I'll do, I'll do another version of this, which is more, um, more kind of apparent for this time. But in the meditation, I was talking about like visualizing your future self, like feeling into your future self, like, you know, my future self, I know there's teaching on the horizon, I know there's courses on the horizon, and then this 2019 version of myself is saying, no, I don't want to do that, I want to stay small, I want to stay small, I want to stay comfortable, I want to stay safe, 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 it's safe over here, but it's not safe over here because this doesn't exist anymore, and in life you're going to have to sacrifice something. You're going to have to sacrifice something. So you might as well sacrifice for your goals. You might as well sacrifice for your soul. It's a much more noble per, uh, um, quest to sacrifice for your goals and your soul than it is for, you know, some other lower aspects of yourself. So anyway, back on, back to the point. In this meditation, you know, and, and it was it was inspired by um, a really amazing client of mine. She knows who she is when 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 I say this. She inspired this this meditation because we were doing this work together. You know, we were we'd worked with a lot of her past self. We knew where she was in in her present reality, and we and and the river analogy comes from her as well because we, she always talked about needing to cross over the river. And we knew that this future self existed on the other side of the river, but we needed we needed to get there. And then we knew that there was going to be road roadblocks or river blocks or rapids in the way of that. So identifying what are them rapids. So what are your impulses? I know my impulses have, have um, got me in a little bit of trouble lately, but you know, getting your impulses under control, getting some of your desires maybe un under control, getting your, you know having some faith in that you know humans are wonderful 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 extraordinary beings that are capable of 
capable of probably more than we can ever imagine probably more than that we can ever imagine and and knowing that you you know your contribution to society if you get if you get this in a world clear and 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 you get it connected you are given a great gift to humanity a really amazing gift to humanity so understand what what are the roadblocks in 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 the way to get in this future self and then feel it like what does it feel like to 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 be that person, to be that soul embodied person, to be the person who you were born to be, to be the person who, who is anchoring divine essence into this world. And yeah, it's, it's, um, it's why we were born. You know, on my, on my website, I talk about he helper souls and a helper soul for me, uh, I once was told something from a shaman and you may have heard me say this before, but a shaman once told me in the jungle that in every family, incarnates one angel to do the work for for the bloodline and the people that i work with and the people that watch these videos are probably those angels and without giving yourselves like a massive you know like going down the whole ego route that the new age can take us on sometimes and thinking that you know you're you know sent from the heavens to save humanity it doesn't mean that it means that you are here to do the work for your ancestral line it means that you are here to do the do the work for your soul growth and that you're here to anchor it into earth to make a change and that change is only ever going to come from us it's only ever going to come from us it's never going to come from our governments there's it's never going to come from our, our parents and this is another thing this is another thing that I've, that I've been sitting with as well blame like this is this is one of the things that entraps us on that other side of the river and it certainly has for me like I have been blaming everything I've been sat in my victimhood and there's nothing wrong with being a victim like I'm not I'm not you know I'm not one of them people that say oh it's really bad to be a victim it's not there are people that are victims and there are times when we've been victimized and you know we have to honor that inside of us but honoring the victim is is turning is alchemizing it into the warrior that's that's the that's the, the you know the teachings of a victim is is to rise up like like the phoenix rise up and be a warrior and going back to blame you know one of the things that we can do when we when we're going through these transformational threshold moments is we can you know we hold on to blame like instead of using our relationships as a conscious mirror to expand and grow we, we you know we can we can blame that that lower that lower element of ourselves and i don't like using the word lower because i i you know i think i never i'm not a person that believes in casting out your demons i believe what nietzsche wrote about casting out your demons might cast out some of the best parts of yourself is a f phenomenal wisdom because if you just get rid of all the, all these things you know you get rid of all these demons and you and you slay them um you might be casting out some very fierce parts of you that might be needed what we need to do is is to is to control that inner beast is to get leadership over that inner, inner beast that's probably a better word leadership over your inner beast and then you can use your beast when it is when it is needed you know instead of using it mind mindlessly we can use it in a in a way that is conscious in a way that is directed and a way that that can help others so blame is something you know we're, we're, we're blaming our we we're, right now as a collective we're blaming the governments we're blaming you know each side's blaming each other no side's got any resolution everybody's just fighting at war everybody's kind of getting a little bit tired and a little bit exhausted energy levels are low so the blame story change it rewrite it rewrite your myth like what what's your myth like what's going to be your personal myth your personal story your legacy that you'll leave on this planet so yes they're just some of my thoughts right now i think we need to bring back monday musings i kind of i kind of miss kind of just musing and sharing um some of some of the things that i um ponder on yeah i think we'll do that but uh, yeah, I wish you a, a lovely week ahead, guys. And if you can, um, just really hold that vision of yourself, that's, that future self that's possible and hold it for humanity. Like we are so powerful. We have got to be so careful of the timeline that we create now. We want to create the highest timeline possible. 
So let's, you know, hold, hold the feeling of, of things, a good outcome and not a negative outcome. And, you know, you know, there's, there's wisdom in negative things that happen to you, but trauma is a very difficult thing to go through and it can put people in a very survival mentality which in some ways is good because I wrote a post on this on Facebook yesterday. I think I shared it in the community here. Survivors are the people that know how to piece themselves back together. Um, so they're kind of perfect people for this time. But we don't want to just stay, once you piece yourself back together, once you've created that beautiful mosaic that, that can be created when when um, our wounds are turned into wisdom and our pain is turned into power and our slavery is turned into sovereignty. Once we do that, once we do that, we can go on to thrive and, and, and create abundance and create what the divine wanted us to create. So I will leave it there, guys. I wish you a lovely week ahead. Um, oh, halfway through the week already, aren't we? We're on Wednesday already. Gosh, where's where is time going? <laughs> I'll see you next week. Um, yeah, stay strong. Do your inner work because you are doing, if you do your inner work, you're doing a great service to humanity. If you want to do some deep dive and you have the resources to do so, you know, drop me an email. I am going to be stepping into my future self. I'm going to be offering some courses next year. It's about time I um, started to put some other things out there. I've got a big calling from from my inner world from the outer world everything that's drawing me to that aspect of myself now so that will be available at some point early next year um, the course with myself and Sarah we are actually struggling to find a venue at the moment uh, we had a couple of venues that have fallen through so we're just trying to get a venue which might be a little bit more flexible than perhaps some other venues are so I will keep you posted on that as well and yeah keep being strong keep keep the faith get out in nature greatest healer we have you know if you're really really stressed and you're really really down and you know you know you don't have the luxury to to work one-on-one -on -one with somebody go into the forest go into the forest and give it to nature she is wonderful she's a great guide my my personally my favorite guide teacher and healer so yeah she's there she's there for us she's there to nourish us she's there to hold us like any mother does she's there to nourish all right guys bye for now